Cody confesses his true parentage to Mac in a dramatic General Hospital twist. All products and services featured are independently chosen by editors. However, Soaps.com may receive a commission on orders placed through its retail links, and the retailer may receive certain auditable data for accounting purposes. Cody's Revelation to Mac Outside the stables, with fireworks illuminating the night sky, Cody blurts out to Mac, I'm your son. Mac's reaction is one of astonishment as he turns around and asks what Cody just said. Upon learning the truth, Mac demands to know how Cody is so sure. Cody admits to having lied about the DNA test results, a deceit spun from a misguided quest for greed. To clinch an inheritance linked to the Ice Princess, he swore an affidavit claiming to be Leopold Taub's son. This revelation leaves Mac stunned as he grapples with the fact that Cody has known the truth for over a year while continuously rejecting his overtures of familial acceptance. Mac's bitter disappointment. This moment leads to an emotional exchange between Mac and Cody. Mac rants about having reached out to Cody and generously offering his heart and home. Instead of meeting him halfway, Cody slammed every door in his face repeatedly. He accuses Cody of lying not just to him, but to Felicia, Maxie, Georgie, James, and Bailey Lou. Cody's attempts to explain his actions, wanting to be part of Mac's family, but being scared of honesty, do little to soothe Mac. Mac hates that he couldn't be honest with him, bringing their relationship credibility issues. Mac sees comfort at the stables. Following this bitter confrontation, Maxie finds Cody sulking in the stables while searching for James' riding gloves. Cody decides he shouldn't continue teaching James due to his recent foul out with Mac. Cody confides in Maxie about the lies and reveals that he is indeed Mac's son. Surprised but understanding, Maxie reassures him that things can get better and considers him a sibling regardless of the DNA results. She advises him not to leave town because things cannot get worse than they already are if he stays genuine. Felicia and Max heated exchange. Back at the mansion, Felicia finds Max still seething over Cody's deception. She reveals she had performed her DNA test and questions whether he doctored it as well. Max speculates that Cody might have approached him now only because he needs something, possibly even an organ donor which deeply disturbs Felicia, who tries to reason otherwise. The frustration builds as they consider what could have been if not for these deceitful actions. Amidst broader storylines, the show transitions into other ongoing storylines like Laura and Portia's heated argument over Heather Weber's trial. Portia confronts Laura about her motivations while accusing her of bias due to familial ties. Maxie gives Cody advice after Max's reaction to his news, and Drew and Willow discuss their kiss. Tuesday, July 9, 2024. Today on General Hospital, Sasha remains conflicted over what she saw. Michael and Nina call a truce for Aurora's sake, and Portia goes off on Laura. All products and services featured are independently chosen by editors. However, Soaps.com may receive a commission on orders placed through its retail links, and the retailer may receive certain auditable data for accounting purposes. Outside the stables, as the fireworks go off, Cody blurts out to Mac, I'm your son. Mac spins around and asks what he said. Cody tells Mac that he's his father. Mac asks how he knows. Cody admits he lied about the DNA test, and it was for a stupid reason. Mac asks him to tell him anyway. Cody tells him that he had a claim to the Ice Princess, and he had to swear an affidavit claiming to be Leopold Taub's son. Mac can't believe he kept the secret out of greed, and that he's known for over a year. Mac grants that he's reached out to him. He opened his family and his heart to him. And at every turn, Cody slammed the door in his face. Cody says he wanted to be his son, and a part of his family. He wanted to tell him earlier, but he just didn't know how, and he isn't proud of it. Mac hates that he couldn't be honest with him, and the worst part is he lied to Felicia, Maxie, Georgie, James, and Bailey Lou. He yells that Cody doesn't give a damn about any of them. Cody says that's not true, and if it helps that this is killing him. Mac says it doesn't, he doesn't trust him, 
and his claiming to be sorry could be just another lie. Max storms off, and later, Maxie finds Cody sulking in the stables. She is looking for James' riding gloves, as he may have left him here. Cody stops her rambling and says he shouldn't keep teaching James. She asks why. And these lessons are her only leverage to get in to clean his room and behave. Cody explains Mac is furious with him, that he's been lying and everyone was right, that he is Mac's son. Maxie is shocked, but says she can see it. Cody says he told Mac the truth tonight, and to say he's not happy would be a massive understatement. Maxie asks why he lied as Mac is such a great guy, Cody says that, at first, he thought he wanted money over family, but by the time he realized he was wrong, the lie had gone on for so long. He says he feared Mac would hate him, and now he does. Maxie says he will get over it, and he's just angry. Cody says he has appreciated getting to know her family. Maxie says, hello, we are siblings. Cody says they aren't related, but Maxie says Mac is basically her father, so that makes them siblings and also makes him her kid's uncle. She thinks James will be thrilled about this news. Cody suggests she hold off on telling James until she talks to Mac. Maxie says if he thinks he can get rid of them that easily, think again. Maxie knows he's thinking of packing up and leaving. She tells him to trust he as she has made mistakes, and it can't get any worse, so he needs to stay. She tells him to remind her someday to tell him about how she faked being pregnant to land a guy. Maxie asks Cody not to leave for Mac, Sasha, and for himself. She makes him promise not to leave and even say the words. Maxie says he won't regret it. Cody finds James' gloves and gives them to her before she leaves. General Hospital Weekly Spoilers Cody faces fallout. Basic Hospital Weekly Spoilers affirm chaos erupts following Cody Bell's fact bomb through the week of July 8, 12, 2024. In the meantime, somebody will get a shock and a nasty conflict escalates on GH. Try the new spoilers for the ABC daytime drama. Basic Hospital Weekly Spoilers Cody Bell faces Scorpio household wrath. GH Weekly Spoilers have Cody Bell within the scorching seat with a number of inquiries to reply this week. Lately, he blurted out to his father, Mac Scorpio, that he's, the truth is, his son. Developing, Mac is in shock and needs Cody to clarify. Later, on Basic Hospital, he should reply to Maxie Jones as a result of she desires to know why he lied. Then he will get a go-to from his stepmom, Felicia Scorpio. Little doubt, Cody can have a ton of harm management to do. However, hopefully it can all blow over rapidly so he can bond along with his household. GH Weekly Spoilers Laura will get huge shock. After Cody Bell, Josh Kelly, reveals the reality to Max Scorpio, John J. York, his new woman, Sasha Gilmore, Sophia Matson, confides in him. Lately, she walked in on Willow Tate, Caitlin McMullen, kissing Drew Kane, Cameron Matheson, through the fireworks on the Quartermain Mansion. Certainly, Sasha couldn't imagine what she was seeing. Quickly, she opens as much as Cody, so she seemingly tells him what she noticed. In the meantime, Portia Robinson's Brooke Kerr, confrontation with Mayor Laura Spencer Collins, Janie Francis, continues.